Okay, so this morning Karen has had her face cleaned, uh, she's had local anaesthetic injected and Dr Tonks has put the threads in place. So she's marked the face up and you can see some threads just coming out. Well, and these are moment... fascinating. If you get, can, you get, can you get close up down here? Because it looks like you've got, like, cat's whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You're not allowed to laugh, Karen. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't laugh. Um, um, so so where, where, they're connected throughout her face now, aren't they? Yes, but you haven't right. pulled any I of haven't them. pulled them yet, no. If you just face that way, you can actually see where they are underneath the skin. So these two here are connected up here. And then here, we've got these ones here. You can just see when I tug uh -huh. how that works. And then I'm going to pull them tight now. Uh huh. And and uh, and how do you stop the little pokey endy bits of the of the thread coming out? Well, we cut them. When we cut them, we cut them quite short, so they just tuck underneath the skin, and you okay. don't see them. So yeah. you don't feel the thread at all under your skin, do you? No. If you put your makeup on, things like that. Is, if uh, if you were to feel her skin now, you wouldn't feel uh -huh. the thread was there. Yeah. You can have okay. a feeling. And then that will get reabsorbed. Yeah. Um, and, and the little cones that are there actually stimulate collagen production, which is what makes our skin look nice and plump. Mm. If they get reabsorbed, there will come a time, I suppose, when they break. Is that what happens? Uh, they, they don't break. They just slowly get reabsorbed. But then next to the thread, you have collagen production there. Yeah. So you'll have this string of collagen afterwards. So you don't just suddenly go... So it just doesn't go bing and yes. one bit falls no. down. Exactly. No, OK. <laughs> okay. It's not okay. ideal. Yes. Um, how regulated? Well, that's probably the big issue, actually, is that if you are going to have a plastic surgery procedure, it is illegal for anybody who's not medically qualified to do that. Um, this sort of field is not so regulated at the moment. It will come, uh, but, you know, someone like Dr Tonks, I mean, you're qualified in medicine and in dentistry, so, you know, what she doesn't know about facial anatomy, quite frankly, isn't worth knowing. Um, and you know that if you're going to somebody who's qualified like that, that, A, they're insured to, to provide that procedure. Um, and if anything should go wrong, and there is no guarantee, but, you know, if you're looking to have something like this done, you're looking to look better. Mm. And if things do go wrong, um, not only is someone like Sarah insured, but actually she's got the wherewithal to know what to do next to improve things for you. So I think my big plea would be to, to make sure that you're going to somebody who knows what they're doing. And we have put a link, I think, on our website to yeah. the Safety and Beauty um, campaign, which will tell you okay. who's, who's know what good you're to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK, Dr Tonks, this is the, uh, <clears throat> the moment of truth as such. And you can't feel anything at this stage, can no, you? You're still completely numb. No. You can actually see this. So, so what, what Dr. Tonks is doing now is just gradually pulling these threads up. So before she even put them in, she measured up quite accurately where those threads were going to be so that then she can now just ease those up. And the other lovely thing about this, of course, is Karen is awake, so she could at some point have a little look in a mirror and go, actually, no, I'd like it a bit tighter than that. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're having a, a general anaesthetic procedure, then you wake up and what's done is done. So you avoid that sort of wind tunnel look doing mm -hmm. it this way. Absolutely. You get a very soft and very natural look afterwards. If you don't like the results, can you massage it back down a bit? You can to an extent, but hopefully you would not get to that point in the first place because it's very much a two-way thing. So yeah. I always show my patients in the mirror how it is that they're looking. And remember, you do tend to drop a tiny little bit after the procedure as well. Mm -hmm. OK, well, we'll let you... How long before you've finished? Yeah. How long, how, how long, when, when, will, when will you be done? Well, before uh, the end of the show, will Yeah, we? <laughs> we'll be done within a few minutes, actually. Yeah. Yeah. OK, all right, we'll, we'll come, we'll check back in once, because yeah. I suppose the next time we see you, that'll be it then, will yes. it? Uh -huh. it'll, all be, it'll all be finished. So you can see... How much does it cost? Um, it varies, so um, this particular procedure is probably about 1,700. Mm. And it lasts for about 18 yeah. months, did you say? 18 to 24 months. OK. okay. All right, thank you, thank you. Right, well, see well done. You a bit. OK, thank you.